For this video, what I want to do is explain more in depth about what video bitrate actually is and how to change or adjust settings within Premiere Pro in order to create the type of quality video that you want to. So first, what is video bitrate? Generally, bitrate determines the size and quality of video and audio files. A higher bitrate will accommodate higher image quality in the video output. In Premiere Pro, before you begin exporting your video, you'll be prompted to adjust or change multiple export settings. Within the Export Settings window exists the Bitrate Settings section. First, you'll notice a line that says Bitrate Encoding. When you click on the arrow dropdown, you'll be presented with three options. One is CBR, two is VBR one pass, and three is VBR two pass. Now I think it's important to define exactly what these three encoding settings are. CBR stands for Constant Bitrate. CBR is an encoding method that keeps the bitrate the same throughout the entire duration of your video. The advantage of using the CBR encoding method is that data is typically processed faster. One of the disadvantages of using CBR is that the files that are created aren't as well optimized for quality versus storage like is the case with VBR. VBR is short for variable bitrate. This is an encoding method that enables the bitrate of an audio file to dynamically increase or decrease throughout the span of the video. If you select VBR within Premiere Pro as your export setting, what's going to happen is that Premiere Pro is going to attempt to calculate which parts of your video require more processing than others. VBR works utilizing the target and maximum bitrate settings. So no part of your video will be processed with a higher bitrate than you set the maximum, while most of your video will be processed with the target bitrate setting. While this certainly helps with video file sizes, the downside is that this process often takes much longer than using constant bitrate. This process is even longer if you select VBR2, as VBR1 processes and encodes the video in one pass-through. VBR2 will pass over the video once, make calculations, and then on the second pass, actually do the encoding. VBR2 pass is often viewed as the most preferred out of the three, although it should be noted that CBR and VBR2 can result in the same quality video. The advantage of CBR being a shorter processing time and the advantage of VBR2 being smaller file sizes. VBR1 is of course an option as well, However, it should also be noted that VBR1 is not typically processed as accurately as VBR2. Although you may still end up with a high quality video with a smaller file size than CBR. Your target and maximum bitrate settings should increase or decrease based on the resolution of the video that you're exporting. For instance, a high frame rate 4K video file is typically recommended to be processed with a video bitrate between 53 and 68 megabytes per second, whereas a high frame rate 1080p video file typically doesn't need more than 12 megabytes per second. Because of YouTube's compression algorithm usage, you may want to actually export your video at an even higher bitrate than what you would use for typical viewing. I'm going to include a link in the description of different bitrates you should be using depending on the resolutions of your videos. So I sincerely hope that this video helped you better understand what bitrate settings are and how you should be adjusting them based off of the videos that you're exporting. As always, thank you for watching, and I sincerely wish you all the best in your video content creation journey.